I have no idea when I will release this, but in any way, shape or form, please be advised that there will be major spoilers in this review of Avengers Infinity War. Please note, because you need to go and see the film before you can watch stuff about the film because even the feelings that I have about this film can fulfill some stuff about this film. So please, spoilers. After the intro, you're too late to turn it off, you are. So please, spoiler alert. we actually begin. I don't talk about the films in its longest state because I have other stuff to do and I don't really want to go over it or maybe I haven't actually learned what the concept of a review actually is. But today, for the first time, I'm going to try and go over every single bit as possible from what I can remember. Now if you're wondering, hey, in the last couple of Marvel films, are there connections to this and at Infinity War? Definitely. Including so, um, yeah. <sighs> You're gonna need therapy after this one. Okay, so you know that full web dog walk after credit scene? Well, that plays into this. And we go ahead and we start straight after that we do. Now, it looks like at when we start it all up, it looks like the battle has come to an end and, and the Asgardians are dead. And the last Asgard, the end is just four. It is. And, and unfortunately, in this opening bit, we get to see a distress call from one of the Asgardians that they've been assaulted by Thanos' ship. Now, in this, of course, they fail. Thanos says a couple of words to Loki and and well you can see the first shot of the Black Order with Loki also and basically Thanos got he went to Thor and got his head and said if you don't give me the Tesseract I'm going to kill Thor basically his head and eventually with persuasion he does and we could see the end game coming from this, we can. But then also Hulk comes out, he does. They have a bit of a fight until unfortunately Hulk failed. So Harm, Harm down in, is in his last attempt to hopefully warn Earth or save it somehow, sent, Earth, sent Hulk back to Earth in the sacrifice of him. We got our first body count of Loki and Harm down's death which is the most thing that it was just a star affair. And you realise at this point that at this point you're going into something way bigger than anything else before. Hulk is travelling back to um, Earth. We get to see Doctor Strange and Wong. We do. I believe the last time we saw these two together was in Doctor Strange 2016. And then as they're walking and talking down the stairs, Hulk appears, he does, and turning back into Bruce Banner, and this is the last we see of Hulk of the film. This is, um, so Bruce Banner, as he is waking up, he says, Thanos, Thanos is coming. And Doctor Strange and Wong says, who? And then they, and then we shoot to a scene where Iron Man and Pepper Potts are. Um, and unfortunately, when Doctor Strange came, he said that Tony Stark, we need you. Um, and then they, and then they end a bit of the talk, and then eventually they go tell them the whole story. But to get Tony to go with Doctor Strange, he saw Bruce Banner. That, that nice little reunion was fine. But it looks like Bruce Banner, you know, he was in the Hulk, was still majorly terrified of what was going to come. So, 
as the one of the scenes are, as they're talking it out, they realise that Thanos is coming for the Infinity Stones. And one of the stones is the time stone that Doctor Strange has. So as they're talking and about to go ahead and tell, go and and somehow contact Captain America or Steve Rogers, the um, they notice something outside, and it's the machine, it's the ship of the Black Order coming to get the Infinity Stones. So they go out, and then the little fight scene commences. We also get to see that Peter Parker and Spider Man responds to this and goes straight away. And it was also nice to see Ned back in this. Well done, you. Um, and then after, so when Spider Man goes, um, you would think, hey, would they um, achieve anything? No. Instead, they're all on the ship because Doctor Strange failed to defeat them. Unfortunately, all of them end up on the ship and, and they go off. They do. Um, and also we get to see the first look of the Iron Spider suit, which if you don't know, um, it's a Spider-Man suit that's basically iron iron stuff in it from Iron Man technology. And also the skin will also be in Spider-Man the video game, which will be coming out this year for PlayStation 4. Now, when they go up there, they should have known it will be one of their biggest mistakes to date. So, what's next after this? Well, we shoot back to the stuff with, um, with Thor, we do. And Thor, as you see in one of those scenes, is floating around. The Guardians bring them in, and then he, they talk. Mantis wakes him up, and then he says, Who the hell are you guys? They talk, and then eventually Gamora says the lines that ever since I knew him, which they're talking about Thanos. Um, and Gamora says, What will happen? if Thanos gets all the Infinity Stones. Now, um, so during this time they made uh, a couple of scenes later they make a decision to go into two groups. Four and um, Rocket Raccoon and also Team Group goes, to, goes with Four to make a new hammer and the Guardians go ahead to go and find the Collector. Um, so we cut back to the shots we do, um, we go down and we see Fission and Scarlet Witch. We haven't seen these people in a very long time, which is nice to see that we can see them now. Um, both of these people, um, the last time we actually heard of them was in Homecoming, where apparently they were still living in the Avengers stuff, uh, in the Avengers womb. But apparently it's been about uh, some time since that actually happened. So we get to see some love stuff and some little planning stuff on what's going to happen. Apparently both of them are going to maybe split up, I don't really understand. But then, then Scarlet sees what's on the news and then both of them, I guess, decide to stay together. As well as when the Black Order have found them. Vision has got one of the Infinity Stones in his head. They have a bit of a fight scene they do when, they, when Vision also gets Cry um, brutally, um, um, he basically got a lot, he got hurt quite a lot during this. Not dead, I think the only way to kill him is to get rid of the Infinity Stone. Um, so, a couple of fight scenes later they end up at this train station thing they do. And this is where we find Steve Rogers and also Black Widow and Falcon. This is the bit of the fight scene where you've already seen it on a news uh, TV thing. Um, so straight away Steve Rogers somehow knows what's going on. He knows about the Infinity stuff, he knows about Thanos all of that. Because you, you could see the fear in his eyes when they were all talking. They end up going back to the Avengers uh, Tower, I think it is, the new place that we saw at the end of Homecoming. Um, and as we're going into there, um, Woji is talking with Senators 
they are, and I think some references to civil war and Sokovia Accords, where basically now they're kind of in place and they're not in place anymore. But because of Thanos, once he comes, that's all gone. That is, and one of the centers who um, who was in civil war confronts Steve Rogers when they all come through and says that. Um, you know, you've got some more nerve coming up here. And then I uh, said, well... And then basically, Captain says, Look, we'll fight. We've got another threat. We'll fight you. And... And we'll fight them. Something like that. And then eventually they end up talking when Bruce Banner comes out. And basically... Well, it's just a lovely re reunion between Natasha and um, Hulk, which is a bit of a shame because other scenes it really did look like it got cut out, so it'll be interesting to see how the cutscenes are. So, um, yeah, so if we go back to the stuff now, um, with, please bear with me, it's a long movie, okay? Let's just skip to it. They go to Wakanda, they do, because they've got some friends there, and we see Wakanda again, we do. But this will be in this dire time where they've got told everything they have. Bucky is wound and alive, and and well, they're working out a plan to try and get the Infinity Stone out of uh, Vision. So they do that, but unfortunately, at the start of all of that, the invasion starts. It does, and also uh, as they're going out, Black Panther says. Famous lines that we that we have first heard in the first trailer called "Evacuate the city and get this man's shield." Very good, isn't it? <laughs> um, so they go out and prepare for battle. They do, and then if we go back to the stuff with the whole spinny wheel thing, um, they end up on the planet of Titan. They do, whilst before then saving Doctor Strange, but even before then, the Guardians go ahead and see if the Collectors all white. Unfortunately that Gamora and everyone else sees that everything's on its normal place and Collector looked like he's gonna die, but unfortunately it was all fake when Gamora thought he killed Thanos. Instead, well, he was actually alive and the Collector and Nowhere are just dead. They are. Everyone's dead. And unfortunately, Gamora takes Thanos, and Star Lord was unable to kill Gamora because of the Infinity Stones doing something to his gun. So, if we shoot back to the scene where that there, that Iron Man, Spider Man, and also Doctor Strange are now on Titan, they end up being on Titan as well, and we get to see the meeting of the Guardians and the Avengers. Something that's been waiting for 10 years, which was worth it completely. So now um, we're at the stage just where this is the um, end game. Battles between Titan and Wakanda happened but during before them Thor gets his hammer we also get to see the guy from Game of Thrones in this film and I got to say it, he was a very good part. <laughs> Um, so, once Thor got his um, new hammer, he went to Wakanda and joined the battle. Now, the battle is going on two places, but let's start with Titan. Titan is um, the place where they're fighting, but this is also the place where they learn that Gamora died, as of Thanos killed Gamora. So that's another body count to add. Now, um, they're fighting Thanos, they are they're hoping it's going to go well, but at the end it's, we could see it's not, because they're just getting this destroyed. But at one point they got Thanos, they had a plan that Man Mantis was using all her power to make it all drowsy, so they can get the Finity Quantum to off him. And at the last second they did, but they would have su succeeded if Star-Lord just paid attention, just, just 
controlled his feelings for the death of Gamora and well unfortunately they fail they do Thanos gets the last Infinity Stone so so and how if Doctor Strange was not going to give him the Infinity Stone Tony Stark would have died that was one of the hardest stuff for me to watch and I understand that this, this is just fandom but you have to understand that these are fantastic actors that once people die in this they're never going to return again Thanos wins Titan battle and the rest of them are still there but we'll get back to that later because the big stuff's coming soon Thanos is on his way now to Wakanda and he's coming, he is <sighs> But before then we had a battle between um, one of the Black Order people and they, the first one dies by the hands of Scarlet Witch and the second one dies by the hands of Bruce Banner and the Hulkbuster. Now, um, now after all that, Thanos is here. They try their best to but he's got too many Infinity Zones that they just keep trying and trying and trying and unfortunately they just fail, they do, they just keep failing, they do. And then the big one comes, that Thanos goes against Scarlet Witch and Scarlet tries to kill Fission while also trying to stop Thanos, but she can't do both. She ends up killing Fission by the last minute that well, unfortunately, um, um, that, that unfortunately well as we thought everything succeeded he's got the time stone so he goes back does that move he does and Fission dies again he does now he's got all the power stones Fall comes in at the last minute tries to stop him but unfortunately by then he snaps his fingers he does and the half of humanity and heroes are faded away by dust and if you want to know who faded away I don't know, hopefully not dead well Falcon Star Lord Doctor Strange um, Scarlet Witch Black Panther and I don't need to say the worst because I think the hardest to watch was team group for me and Peter Parker, Spider-Man. The, the, the weird thing is that Spider-Man was scared right at the start when, like, he was scared, like he knew something was happening, and then he tumbled down to the ground and said, "My, I don't feel well. My legs are weird." And then the final scene that we saw in that leaked trailer was that, "I'm sorry, Mr. Stark." And then he fades away, he does, leaving the remaining heroes alive, being Tony, Nebula, Thor, Steve Rogers, some of the people of Wakanda, Bruce Banner, War Machine, and I think that's it. Oh, and Rocket Raccoon. So, what now? Well, the after credit scenes shows that Nick Fury is back with Mayhill. They're going to be in Captain Marvel, so hopefully, but unfortunately, at the end of this, after the credit scene, they got the same demise. So, the question is, what now? We know that Captain Marvel will hopefully get the distress call and will be on her way. We also know that Ant Man has, will be in the next one, and we're hoping Hawkeye is also okay. Now, the thing is that many people say that these guys are dead, the people who faded away are dead. Well, the thing is, is that I don't think that at all. The thing is that Black Panther, Spider-Man and many other people who are still have contracts will still come back and live through. But even though if you see the movie and you do that, your mind is still at a state where, hey, these people just faded away right in front of you. It was one of the most saddest things I've ever seen. So I'm hoping Captain Marvel and the remaining heroes will be able to save us. Or save the people 
in in the MCU, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. So there's a high possibility now that Ant-Man and the Wasp will definitely include some stuff and we'll go into Infinity War after their events. And then hopefully Captain Marvel will hopefully do the same and then eventually when Avengers 4 comes out, we hopefully can see the end to Thanos. So yeah, so what do I actually think of the film? It's emotional, it's fun, it's adventurous, it's sad, made me cry. It's everything that I predicted that it would be. The film gets a 10 out of 10 for being one of these films where it did something that Marvel could never do. And I also just want to mention that the Wet Skull was back in this one, played by a different guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sure most of you now will need therapy after this. I know as people will tell you that it's not will, but it happened right in front of you. Out of the other Marvel films, we've always seen the hero as one. I'll see you guys soon. Peace guys, see ya.